Praise the Lord, the Lord is good, and His mercy is just forever. Is rapture a biblical doctrine, concept, teaching, scripture? The word rapture, as I've written here, R A P T U R E, has the spiritual meaning from the Bible of being raised to life. That's in the Bible. If I forget, in Matthew 27, 50 to 54, and it has to do with holiness. There's a similarity between Noah's Ark Noah's Ark then they were living in the holy realm so holiness was perhaps you know just the norm the normal way of life for the children of God but it's different from being righteous they were holy but they were beginning to do wrong because the giants who trespass from Jude 6 to Genesis 6 from the descendants of Cain came and took some of the women across bread and they were bearing giants and these giants were oppressing them so oppressing them engaging them in all unrighteousness so this Noah's Ark was about righteousness be on the right side the right side because that then was the period time of the stone area able time without going much into that side so the issue then was whether they are going to remain on the right side or they are going to be seeing the green grass green on the other side one in they were hidden living in them so, Bible tells us that rapture has taken place when holy men were raised to life from the nation of Israel. And then the wall of Pharisee, they are the in between us, they are like the Dan descendants. Dan. These children here are the children of Yeshua down to Judah. Do you see that? But the third level now is the flesh. The one who usurps authority. Flesh of Esau. Esau is the leader. But there's a flesh of these giants that went from the time of giants. They were flooded down. And they are now appearing here as demons. As you are told, the abode of demons is Babylon. You don't know where Babylon is. Some people will call it Baby London to show that it's linked to Cain. It was linked to Cain in the beginning and it's still linked to Cain Esau at the end. Baby London. So this is today's America. Some people say, why is it not Reason that America is in the Bible because it goes by the name Babylon. So now, by Babylon, you know, their standard is what they are presented in their Hollywood as. You are going to Jaws. They say you are going to, the flesh is telling you that you are going to suddenly disappear. But even for you to understand that they are trying to tell you that through their Hollywood movie, you, the people of the earth, so the goodly ones, God's people, godly and goodly, you disappear and leave the earth for them so that they can start their uh, world of disorder again. No, the world of disorder has just been completed this past 2022 
after they did what they did to Israel, they drag us down since our forefathers' time of slavery without cloth. Only chains of slavery. So we spent 2,000 years with grace and mercy of 20 years plus 2 years added. Thank God for that grace of mercy. If not, how many of us will be woken up in holiness? Holiness. Many are still worldly. So I cover something I've written here because I'm going to show you soon now. So they want us to think we are the ones to disappear. Eh? But I would like you to think of rapture not as we suddenly disappearing. That is a doctrine that is a demonic doctrine. Is a wrong doctrine. It's from the flesh. The flesh, whether flesh of Esau, flesh of Cain, or flesh of the offshoot of them both, whether giants that became demons, became demons, or whether crossbreed of Cain and Dan that became Romans. The Roman Empire of evil, enslaving God's people. They are the enemies of God's people. But rapture is more of without you connecting it to us oh, suddenly disappearing. There's a sudden that is coming, a sudden judgment on the wicked. Not sudden disappearing of the righteous, no. Even in going to the North Ark, they were going one by one. It wasn't a sudden disappearance before the flood flooded the giants. So I'm going to use the word that will make you remember rapture. And I've written the word departure. Departure. It's a going away, all right. It's a lifting up to a higher realm. It's almost like somebody walking as a cleaner. Everybody sees him or her as she or he goes to the room sometimes to clean up a little more there and there. But now that the cleaner has gone from being cleaner to... Pardon me, I had to yawn there. From being cleaner to being maybe the next in command in that office. It's not in, in his own office. People may not be seeing him as a cleaner before. It doesn't mean that he's out of that office. He's just been raised to a level where he doesn't have to be in everybody's face cleaning their office or making their tea. So rapture can be a departure. That's what some of you may be getting in, inside you spiritually. That rapture has to be with us not being where we are. We are getting it, but we are not disappearing. Because there's life where we are living here. The sun level, where the spirit beings are, the cloud level, where the cloud of witnesses are, Hebrews 12, 1 to 2, the apostles are cheering us up. And then we are now in the earth, earth ground, earth through ground level. With earth being, you know, the body and ground being the flesh. I hope we are seeing it. Because, like, we all have a degree of flesh in us. The flesh must be put down after Calvary. With the blood of Yeshua cleaning us. It is no longer the old flesh that lives in us. And we that even have the body of Christ. We may well have a new flesh, the flesh of the innocent pilot. So don't open up your flesh to sin. Stay in God's word. But I thought I should talk about this rapture. Rapture has to do with us being raised to life. Please, you should know that. And that's connected with Hosea 6 2. Hosea 6 2 says that. After two days, let's open it and not just quote. After two days, the Lord will revive us, restore us, 
and on the third day, so between the second and third day is a whole one spiritual day. That amounts to our own 1,000 years on earth as mind and body. So when you are a mind, as in little, 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 little cell body member, if you can see, cell body member, let's say this part of my hand, just this part of my hand, cell body member, each each cell body member, there could be over a hundred cell body member just from this place to this place. And each cell is now standing up to be an individual. So you are an ant compared to the whole body, like a small dot in this timeline. That's why one spiritual day to an ant, if one person walk, well, one person walk and it takes one day, an ant, it may take a thousand it may take a thousand years to get because it's smaller. Everything is small. So we are descendants, remnants, servants of the living God. So when you have a spiritual body of Judah, you are just an ant compared to that. Don't talk because you've been in a place where you are blown up. Don't talk as though you are the same. We are just a cell member. But why did I come here? The Lord says, concerning this 1,000 is why I came here. In that Hosea 6 2, that after, you know, being revived, restored, then on the third day, meaning a whole 1,000 year of millennial reign of peace on earth, which you see in your book in Revelation 20, go and read it. There is those that will be raised to life for a thousand years to reign with Christ. So it is after that that rapture that we claim spiritually going by this is what I say we claim. We the righteous is raised to life and we must be holy. So one thousand years of being with the Lord, you should be righteous, holy, truthful, enough, ready to be raised to life. In this state you are, you cannot just disappear. Let's talk the truth that they've told us a lie for a long time. Pharisees have preached the lie, Esau have put that does not make it true. Do you understand? I'm just using this, and this is not the date, by the way. Today is 24th of uh, May. So, we are going to be raised to life. Let's open it. I said I should open it. Hosea 6 2. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy. That is it. The word of God is perfect. After two days, He, capital letter, He, our Lord God Almighty, will revive us. We need that revival. So after the revival, there it will definitely go on to the millennial reign of peace on earth. On the third day, because this is after two days, two days are complete. Between the after two days and on the third day, then he will restore us and we will live in his presence. On the third day, he will restore us. No? So, it's like, let me round it up. Day one, day two, and while we are still, this is day three, three. Day one, day two. So, after two days, after two days, according to Second Peter, the Lord promised to revive, restore us. Then on the third day, what will be done? We'll be raised to another level, higher level. We'll be raised to life. 
on the third day. That means on the third day will be raised. So we see that we are already somewhere here, judging that, that grace and mercy has been given to us. 2,000 years is two spiritual days. Two spirit days. According to Second Peter 3, 8, that says, A day with the Lord is our own thousand years. And our own thousand years is a day with the Lord. Because the Lord, where the Lord is, where the sun is. We are on earth. You know? We are on earth here. In between us and the Lord is the angels, spirit bodies. Not just angels, apostles. They are also spiritual bodies. So they, a day with the Lord will be their own hundred years. Remember, they are in between. A day with the Lord is their own hundred years. A day with us is our own 1,000. How do I know this 100 years? When Father Abraham was, you know, looking for the promised child, he had to wait 100 years. Yes. For him to receive his child to be at his own level. So 100 years from the Lord sending his son to him, he was now 100 years to meet up with his son Isaac to be birthed. So there are many other ways, but I'm not going to that. I hope this will help somebody. If you are interested in learning like this, I could use the board. I have board I used to use before. More time. Yes. Lord bless you for listening. Today, we want to just assure that rapture is not about disappearance. If anyone... Did I even read completely? I think I did. You know? I did. I don't know what I finished reading. Let me just read. After two days, he will revive us. So we are revived. And on the third day, he will restore us that we may live in his presence forever. Depending on the translation we are reading. I've got my Giants Bible far away from me now. I got it there. That's where it is. So, oh, you know, you might read it in. Um, let me just pause this and bring it. I don't want to be saying it's there, it's there, and I'm not showing it. So, I've got the KJV. Let's remove this. So, let's see how it's written here. So, Zaya. 16. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are worthy, oh And it's good to have coloring pencils. So, Isaiah 6 2. We've got Hosea 6 one there at the bottom. So I'm going to get my coloring pen. Come, let us return unto the Lord God of Israel. Please, why they remove Lord God of Israel? Because they want you to think the Lord is just one. No. The Lord of Israel is Lucifer. The Lord of the Pharisee is Dan. That's how they chant Holy Ghost. The Lord of the body of Christ is Judah, Yeshua, Holy Spirit. In all the ways he has represented himself. That's why he's Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shekinu. He's still the same God. You know, if he's revealing himself as the provider, then he's Jehovah Jireh. When he reveals himself as your righteousness, then it's Jehovah Shekinah. When he reveals himself as your peace, Prince of Peace, then it's Jehovah Shalom. It's still the same Lord God. So let's read what it says in that verse 1. 
Come on, let us return unto the Lord God, our Lord Jacob Israel dies. For he has done us, and he will heal us. He has been seen, he will bind us up. After two days, he will revive us. In that one say on all these changes of word matter. You know, after two days, he will revive us. So this is the revival I'm waiting for. I'm still waiting. It seems I'm the only one. I say it seems I am. But other children may be waiting like this too. You know, individually, in their family, they are the only one trusting God to go all the way. It's like that sometimes, even to Prophet Elijah. He told the Lord he was not willing to lie. That's to show that our aunt, 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 aunt mindset cannot see far. So he judges only by what he can see. Prophet Elijah told the Lord God Almighty that I'm the only one left of your prophets. Because Jezebel, the wicked woman from Sidon, was busy killing the true prophets and bringing the false prophets in. So the Lord reminded Elijah that no, I have 7,000 prophets. So sometimes we think we are the only one waiting because we can't see any other, even within my own nuclear family. The truth is I didn't even bother much because it's, if I'm still even correcting um, what they buy, what they buy, all these things they buy, they bring in, it doesn't happen all the time, by the way. I must be very truthful. But once in a while, it seems to be like, no, I'm not going to tolerate that in this house. So you see that you stay with it and go with it. So that is it all. After two days, he, the Lord God Almighty, will revive us. And on the third day, some may even say after third day. But on the third day, I'm going to leave it on the third day. Why? It resonates with the singularity body of Christ that was being said to us that... Um, was buried. I have my my study in progress, so I have reason to believe that yes, the body of Christ was broken for us, and the spirit of that body was put upon John Below. And so the Lord did not get buried in any way. He rose from the cross of Calvary. When he even said it on the cross of Calvary, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. So who was buried is the question now. Was it a man on the right hand that was buried? Sometimes I view it like that. Sometimes I view that even if it was the remaining body broken for me and you that was buried, whichever way you want to see it, that body that was buried that is a good or godly body, that body was in the tomb for two days. After two days, without the you know stone being rolled away, he was attended to by angels. He was revived by the able spirit of God. So on the third day, he was now able to rise up. He was raised to life. He was raised to life. He was raptured. But as raptured body, he could see appear to his disciples for 40 days. Even the beat of the spirit of God upon him before he was raptured could manifest. So let's just see this as the fulfillment of what happened in the past is yet to happen to us. After two days, the Lord is to revive us. I am waiting for his revival. He will not pour his spirit in you. It is the Holy Spirit in us. Revival is not just this gimmick that this Pharisee do. It's about the Holy Spirit reviving us from inside. So that no, nobody is trying to convince you from outside. You are revived. You just go and preach. When the Spirit of God is upon you, just go. All you love to do is go for God, speak for Him, you know, evangelize for Him. As God said, we should go in His name. As even believers, disciples, you don't need to be ordained before you know you are preaching. Be preaching these ones are doing pulpits. Nobody sent us. As in, nobody that is good and God is sent us. We also go and preach the gospel. So the world, the way the Lord Yeshua did. Lord Yeshua did not go and start another... And this is a small temple here. This is another temple as I go about doing miracle. This is another temple. 
he, he didn't want anybody to be away from the initial temple of God. He didn't want to do that at all because that was what Jeroboam did and was judged in 1 Kings chapter 12, chapter 13, chapter 14. So I'm going to round this then. This is the revival we are waiting for. Rapture is not about us disappearing from us. It's about us. After our resting, resting a millennial reign of peace on earth, wherein God has promised even me that as in Isaiah 54, 13, I and my children will be taught by the Lord and great to be be my peace of mind. And that doesn't mean you will not correct your children. That the Lord has given me promise. I know God has given me promise. But faith without works is dead. If you believe in that word and your children are misbehaving like the children of Eli, you won't correct them. I have to correct my last son as loving as he loves his mom and I love him. But see, this is the place where God was saying, who is my mother? Who is my brother? But those who do the will of the Heavenly Father. I love you, but you can't go against my Heavenly Father. I'm going to stand for him first before you. So, because that's the warning, also because you love your children, because that's the warning in Deuteronomy 7.26. If you bring on ungodly, unholy, you know, items of the Gentiles into your home, you and that your property you brought in will be liable to destruction. You know, thus says the Lord. As we see happen to a child of God, he called himself a child of God. But read Joshua 1, want to end. You see how Achan was torn to death for daring to bring a Babylonian Jericho robe into Israel. That's why God says, still in Savannah 1 8, I will punish all those with uh, foreign apparel who go and carry Babylonian robe. You are reveling in it, you are doing all this thinking that you have um, expensive clothes. Meanwhile, God's frost may be upon you. Repent while you can. According to the very words of the Lord Yeshua in Luke 15, in Luke 13, 1 to 5. Repent or perish. Repent or perish. God bless you for this thing. Shalom. Remember, it's about rapture. Rapture is not our disappearance. Rapture is about we will departure what is being raised from one level to the other. Like you traveling from London to Nigeria. You are being raised higher. Nigeria is on a higher level, even physically. That is the truth. That is the truth. Nigeria is on a higher level. We could do that another topic. I don't want this to be long. God bless you again for listening. Shalom.